welcome to tonight's edition of the news summary at 22 hours on CKK TV to save and inspire. Presenting it, my name is Peter Chanda. Here are the headlines. Youths applaud government for securing debt due. Debt restructuring, a big win, says Katotobwe. Four arrested over copper cathodes a theft. In international news, Joseph O'Connor jailed for celebrity cyber attack. And in sports news, Lionel Mercy's relationship with Paris Saint Germain's fans fractured. Here are the details. The Zambia Youth Association in the fight against corruption, ZAFAC, says Zambia securing a debt restructuring deal shows the confidence the creditors have in the country's leadership and management of public resources. ZAFAC board chairman Rickson Kanema says the fiscal discipline and prudent use of public resources have contributed greatly to securing the debt restructuring deal. Mr. Kanema has congratulated government for the milestone and urged them to continue prudently managing public resources. The Center for Policy Dialogue, CPD, says the completed debt restructuring deal will lead to significant growth in the economy and major improvements in the standard of living for citizens. Center for Policy Dialogue Executive Director Caroline Katotowe says debt restructuring is a big win for Zambia as it will unlock the potential of many sectors such as agriculture, energy and manufacturing. Ms. Katotowe has told the media in Lusaka today that it is important for government to remain focused on the mammoth task ahead and deliver development to the citizens. She has also called on all stakeholders to rally behind President Hichilema and the government in its quest to develop the nation. In other local stories, the anti-robbery squad on the copper belt have arrested four people in connection with the stolen copper cathodes which were in transit from the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. Copper Belt Police Commissioner Paiswell Mwemba says the copper cathodes were parked in an incomplete building in a garage. Those arrested include a 35-year-old Mwiza Simwizi, driver of the truck that was laden with the copper cathodes. He says upon interrogation, Simwizi disclosed that he took over the truck from an unknown driver at Michael Chilufia Sata Target as he was engaged by someone only identified as John of Kalulushi District. Others are Kelvin Kawonga, 34, of Riverside Kitwe, and Patrick Mwale of Magam area in Kalulushi, who were also hired by the same John to offload the contraband in Indola. He says the owner of the garage, only identified as Axon Simwizie of Kitwe's Luangwa Township, rented out the garage to Prosper Chishimba, a Indola resident whose whereabouts are currently unknown. Mr. Mwemba has told the media that the police have engaged, have, be, have managed rather, to establish the owner of the copper cathodes and cobalt. He, however, says the whereabouts of the driver who was in charge of the truck from Congo are not yet known, but that investigations have been instituted. We take a break. We'll be right back with international and sports news. Stay with us. Thank you for still staying with us. Uh, you are watching the new summary at 22 hours on CKK TV to save and inspire. In our international stories, Joseph O'Connor from Liverpool, who hijacked more than 130 accounts in July 2020, including those of Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and Elon Musk, has been arrested. The 24-year-old pleaded guilty to hacking charges last month. On Friday, he was sentenced to five years for cyber crimes, according to the United States Attorney Office in the Southern District of New York. The hacking was part of a major Bitcoin scam that generated tweets asking followers to send Bitcoin to an account, promising to double their money. As a result of the fraud, an estimated 350 million Twitter users viewed suspicious tweets from official accounts of some of the biggest platform users, including Apple, Uber, Kanye West and Bill Gates. For more in this story, we monitored DTX News. Twitter hack, 
Joseph O'Connor jailed for celebrity cyber attack A British man who hacked high-profile Twitter accounts as part of a Bitcoin scam has been jailed in the US. Joseph O'Connor, from Liverpool, hijacked more than 130 accounts in July 2020, including those of Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and Elon Musk. The 24-year-old pleaded guilty to hacking charges last month. On Friday, he was sentenced to five years for cyber crimes, according to the United States Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York. The hacking was part of a major Bitcoin scam that generated tweets asking followers to send Bitcoin to an account, promising to double their and finally from our sports desk, Messi, who left PSG at the end of last month's season after two years, has joined Inter Miami. In the second half of last season, he was repeatedly booed and PSG had to increase security around his house. Messi was booed by some PSG fans after being suspended for an unauthorized trip to Saudi Arabia and during his final match for the League One champions. In a wide-ranging interview, Messi said he found it very difficult to adapt to life in Paris following his 2021 move from Barcelona. And that item brings us to the end of the news summary at 22 hours on CKK TV to save and spa. But before we go, here are the headlines once again. Youth applaud government for securing debt deal. Debt restructuring, a big win, says Katotobwe. Four arrested over copper cathode theft. In our international news, Joseph O'Connor jailed for celebrity cyber attack. And in sports news, Lano Mercy's relationship with Paris Saint-Germain's fans have fractured. My name is Betty Chanda. Good be and God bless you.